Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Michelle Hill with Southern Inspirations and I'm happy to be here for another episode of Tip Tuesday with Paige Shepard. Hey there Paige, how are good you? Good morning. I'm good. I'm happy to be here too. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just have so much fun doing Tip Tuesday and I always learn something new. Yeah, I do too. I think we talked about that last week. Whenever I'm preparing my notes for these sessions, I'm like, man, I should be better at this too. <laughs> always room for improvement. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, today is all about utilizing the space <clears throat> on the backs of our, excuse me, uh, around our cabinets, the back of our, inside the cabinet doors, on the back of our main doors throughout our house. And as I was preparing with some of the pictures and the points that you sent me, I just was so excited um, to know that we get to share. And I guarantee these are gonna be some tips that someone is gonna walk away with and start. Because when you offer these, tip page, these tips page, they're so easy to implement and most of them are so very affordable too. Yeah, that's my goal. I mean, obviously I would love to live in a dream world where everything is stark white and Pinterest perfect, but that's not the reality for me and it's not the reality for most people. So I really like finding inexpensive ways to make a big difference. And today, like today's steps, the different suggestions I'm going to make really just require a little bit of creativity. And I'm sure that maybe there's people who have other tips, the other ways they utilize the backs of their doors, cabinet doors. If so, we want to know about that. So you can leave a comment. Um, you can send me a message from my website, whatever. I just want to know how you are implementing these steps that we share today, or if you have tips of your own. Yes, absolutely. So as we go through each of these seven pictures and very specific tips, if you have something special you do with that space, like Paige said, drop it in the comments or send her a message because we are all kind of in this together with staying organized, right Paige? Yeah, and you know, I mean, I think everyone gets ideas from other people. I mean, I have original ideas occasionally, but sometimes I see something that someone else has done and I think that's really good. I'm gonna take a few things and do it this way so that it works for me. Um, so yes, I would love to hear those things. But I'll say this, the very first step, the most important thing before you do this, it's what I say every week when I'm <laughs> organizing, is purging and decluttering before you do this. If you want to tackle the cabinet under your sink, you're ready to, you know, get that organized. Go ahead and go into it with the mindset that you don't need to keep everything that's currently under there. <laughs> you need to take it all out and clean it out, figure out what you need, and then go from there. And I always say to purge and declutter first before you even buy supplies, if you need to buy things, because you don't want to waste your money or your time. <laughs> that is exactly right. I love how you always start with that. Let's take yes. care of that first and then let's implement these other tips. <laughs> yes, it's the most important part, I think. I love um, it. Okay, so I just have seven different ways that you can utilize your, the backs of your cabinet doors or the backs of a door to a closet or your bedroom or whatever. So the first one is with spray bottles that you frequently use. And Michelle's going to pop a picture up there. Yeah, you use an over the door towel rack to like you put it over. I have to scoot bit. over just a little bit. Scoot over just a little bit when oh. I turn it So that's one way you can use some space differently under your kitchen sink. Hey Paige, I, I'm so sorry. Did the audio sound funny to you when I you up there full we may need to just do with and i apologize to everybody but you sounded very very muffled okay the audio just wasn't good so would you mind just repeating that and i think i'll leave myself in stream back behind there okay not pulling me out but i think it's okay i want folks to be able to hear you so i'm sorry would you say that whole thing again because i know folks want to yes. hear it yes i don't mind at all um 
So as we go through these pictures, you'll see some of these pictures are from my home and some of them are from clients that I've dealt with. And this happens to be underneath my kitchen sink. Um, I used an over the door towel rack that's designed to put your dish towel on. But like I said, I don't store my dish towel underneath my kitchen sink. So I've used that rack there for some commonly used spray bottles that frees up space in the bottom of the cabinet. And it just helps utilize that extra space that's back there. Is that better? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. That was much better. Thank you so much for redoing that. Okay. So yeah, because spray bottles, I know currently I have mine in just plastic bins, you know, up under the sink, which is probably pretty typical and it works, but yeah. um, I've already thought of two or three bottles that would make sense to kind of pop on that little rack inside the door like that. So I like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next one is, this is in a client's home that I actually did a virtual session for. We used a magazine. Um, she used a magazine rack or magazine holder, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> she mounted on the back of her pantry door. <laughs> You can see there that she has like foil and saran wrap um, and Ziploc baggies right there. It's easily accessible um, and those are very easy to mount. You can do that on the back of a pantry door or the back of a cabinet door. So there's that one. Okay. I like that one too. This is a little interesting to make sure we get this where everybody can see it. <laughs> I'll take that one down. Okay. Okay. And the third one is for hanging your measuring spoons and your measuring cups. And again, this will look different in everyone's home, but you can see the measuring cups there on the bottom, the measuring spoons up top, and it's just a 3M command hook that, you know, doesn't damage the inside of the cabinet door if you were to take it down. So you just pop those up there and make sure that you've got them, That make sure you measure first. <laughs> That's like the important tip, but you want to make sure that they aren't going to like knock things over that are on the inside of your cabinet shelves. Um, but it's a good way to use space. And then you don't have all of those things in the drawers that you have to dig through when you need to find a measuring spoon. I like that one too. There's such a convenience factor when you have your mixing bowl out, just pop open that cabinet door and grab those little measuring spoons off the hook. So I love that one. Yes, that's a good one. That was one of my favorites too. Okay. And then this is a pretty common one, but you know, you never know who's listening, but sometimes hair tools, whether it's a curling iron or a blow dryer or whatever, they're not easy to store. And so this is an under the cabinet, um, like a basket. You can get them that mount over the door. You can see that this one screws in there um, just to store your hair tools so that you don't have them laying all over the cluttered counter um, and that it just keeps the cords in better condition too when they aren't tangled up around each other. So that's an example for how to do that in the bathroom. I love that one too. Uh, good one. <laughs> Holly is watching. Thank you so much. She said that super cool. <laughs> Sorry, okay. every week. So thank you, Holly. We appreciate that. The next one um, is for your ironing board and your iron. And again, this one's pretty typical, but not everyone has these things. So this over the door hanger, I think we purchased it from Target. Not very expensive, but you can like bend the different pieces of the mount to fit your ironing board, like the width of your ironing board, which I thought was so like handy, but it just is universal. You can use it for almost any board. So um, that keeps that up and out of the way and not just kind of as an eyesore in a room somewhere. So that's an easy one. Yes. Another good one. All and right. then left here. Uh, we have two more, I think, right? Okay. Yes, I yeah. think we have two more. The craft supplies. This is from one of my earlier clients. This closet, um, you can see these pictures on my website. This closet was like was in a spare bedroom and it had was so cluttered that they couldn't even get to the light bulb to change it that needed to be replaced. So this is like a big deal. We were able to put all of her craft supplies. She does scrapbooking and she has a young daughter and they do bracelets and stuff like that. So this is like one of those over the door organizers that people, you can literally use for anything, shoes, crafts, toiletries, whatever you need to use it for. Um, I've even seen some people use it in pantries um, and they put like snacks for their kids in the pouch 
like, and they tell their kid, hey, you can go get something from the third row or the fourth row or whatever, just depending on what suits your family. But um, that is an easy way to organize things. And I love that the pouches are clear so you can identify what's in there quickly. That was also one of my favorites. My head just started turning about all the different things that can go in there, kind of like you said. So, yeah. Yeah, and the it. last one, this is, if there are any men watching or if you're watching for a man or you are tired of hats being laid around your house and being everywhere, Michelle, put that picture up there. This is um, a simple, very inexpensive way to store hats. Um, these are some of my husband's hats. He has a lot. <laughs> um, so I've used three M hooks again, and I just stuck them to the door. I kind of measured first and made sure that the hats were going to not like overlap and you can do it so many different ways, but that's a, an easy example of a good, like a good way to organize and store those hats so that they can easily be seen. And ladies, this can be for you too, if you wear a bunch of hats, um, <laughs> but it's a, it's a tip that you can easily see the hats and it keep, gets them off the shelves. It keeps them from getting cluttered. Just a nice way to use that back of the closet space. I definitely like that one as well. And because we know guys like their caps. And so all he's got to do is get behind that door and pick it, which one said the, that he wants. The real question is, um, is he good about putting them back on the hooks? You know, he really is. Um, <laughs> he is. And I don't know if it's just because he's married to me, but I really think he was that way before marrying me. <laughs> Maybe what drew me to him. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. He already had a few organizing bones in him. Huh? Oh, yeah. We're we're both pretty structured people. So I think it works. <laughs> oh wow. I love it. Well, once again, you have offered some wonderful tips for everyone watching. Um, I really hope you will take advantage of some of these and again share your own. Um, if you have another idea. Um, Holly says her stepdad has a lot of hats too. <laughs> yeah, most, most guys like their their ball caps. So um, that's going to be one of the favorite for sure. I want to um, pop your website up there. I know we try to get that up there every time because um, we want people to remember to visit there. You keep it populated with blogs, mm -hmm. all these great tips and more. And of course, all the Tip Tuesday information is there as well as your Facebook page. And so everyone, if you're not already following the page, um, please do so because she just, she's so good at what she does. And even if there's something that as you are looking at her social media and her website, if there is a topic um, that has anything to do with productivity, efficiency, organizing, event planning, any of those things, and you just have a question or you don't get covered, I promise you, if you reach out to her, she's more than willing to answer your questions and to help you in whatever area where you need it. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate Absolutely. that. Yes, of course. All right. Well, I think that is it for today's Tip Tuesday. Again, thank you to everyone for watching and for your support of Southern Inspiration as well as Shepherd Organizing Solutions. And we'll see you right here again next Tuesday for another Tip Tuesday. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.